don't worry about your spiritual progress. There's no such thing as spiritual progress. Are you becoming more available to it? That's all the question is. To simple aspects of life, you are more available only when you're in a certain state of pleasantness. So let's measure by that standard. If by the day, if you are becoming a more joyful human being, you just keep accounts of this on a daily basis, from yesterday to today, am I a little more joyful? If you're keeping accounts and if you're becoming more and more joyful by the day, that means you're progressing. So the essence of working towards success in one sadhana is that these two because should become one. Unless these two things become one, you do not have enough energy to break the limitations of the present dimension, to break the boundaries of present dimension. Welcome seekers of spiritual enlightenment to a transformative session with the one and only Sadhguru. Today, we embark on a profound exploration into the realms of measuring spiritual progress and achieving unparalleled success through the sacred practice of sadhana. Have you ever pondered on the metrics of your spiritual journey? Are you ready to unlock the secrets to measuring your spiritual growth and achieving unprecedented success in your sadhana practice? Look no further, Sadhguru is here to guide us through this enlightening journey. In this captivating discourse, Sadhguru unravels the mysteries of spiritual progress, offering practical insights and invaluable wisdom on the art of sadhana. Whether you are a seasoned practitioner or a newcomer to the path of self-discovery, this session promises to elevate your spiritual journey to new heights. Get ready to be inspired, enlightened, and empowered as Sadhguru shares the keys to not just measuring but accelerating your spiritual progress. Success in sadhana is not a distant dream, it's a tangible reality waiting to be unveiled. Join us on this transformative adventure as Sadhguru imparts the guidance you need to navigate the intricate landscapes of your spiritual evolution. The path to success in sadhana is illuminated, and the journey begins now. Prepare to be captivated, enlightened and uplifted by the timeless wisdom of Sadhguru. How do you measure, one measures their own spiritual progress at individual level? Don't worry about your spiritual progress. There's no such thing as spiritual progress. Are you becoming more available to it? That's all the question is. Let's not talk about something which is not in your experience because if I talk about something which is not yet in your experience, there are only two options, either to believe me or disbelieve me, isn't it? Believing doesn't get you any closer, disbelieving doesn't get you any closer. So let's talk about something that is in our experience. What condition, what state of mind, emotion, body, and let's leave the energy because that's not in your experience. What condition of your body, mind and emotion makes you more available to life than the way you are right now? You tell me. If you are sad, do you become more available? If you are tense, do you become more available? If you are peaceful, do you become more available? If you are blissful, do you become more available? In which condition would you become more available to the life process? If you are in utmost pleasantness, you become more and more available to everything around you. Isn't it so? Right now you are feeling very happy. This one comes and asks some stupid question. You are okay with her. That one comes and asks something else. You are okay with her also. This one comes and asks something. You are okay with that also. You are in a certain state of unpleasantness. You are irritated, frustrated, angry, depressed about something. This one comes and even tries to say something nice to you, yes or no? Even to simple aspects of life, you are more available only when you are in a certain state of pleasantness, isn't it? So let's measure by that standard. If by the day, if you are becoming a more joyful human being, you just keep accounts of this on a daily basis, from yesterday to today, am I a little more joyful? If you're keeping accounts 
And if you are becoming more and more joyful by the day and your face instead of becoming like this is slowly is becoming like this, that means you are progressing. Yes, you are definitely progressing because spirituality is not some nonsense up there. It is about becoming available to life process in its fullest possibility, not just to the physicality, not just to the mentality, to becoming available to life process in its fullest scope. This is spirituality. Have you ever contemplated the profound question, are you truly available to the full spectrum of life's experiences? Sadhguru challenges us to reconsider our approach to existence, urging us to embrace life in its fullest scope. As we journey deeper into this enlightening discourse, Sadhguru dismantles the conventional notion of spiritual progress. Prepare to be intrigued, for according to Sadhguru, there is no such thing as spiritual progress. What does this revelation mean for our pursuit of higher consciousness and self-realization? But hold on, the plot thickens. If the traditional concept of spiritual progress is debunked, what about the core of our spiritual endeavors, sadhana? Can we still achieve success in our sadhana? And if so, what does success truly mean in this context? These are the questions that beckon our exploration in the next segment of this illuminating video. Join us as we navigate the uncharted territories of sadhana and success, guided by the profound insights of Sadhguru. The journey promises to be thought-provoking, transformative, and filled with revelations that might just reshape your perspective on the spiritual path. Let's redefine the meaning of success in sadhana and align yourself with the rhythm of life's grand tapestry. The adventure continues and the answers await. Let's embark on this exploration together. There are two fundamental aspects or forces acting within every human being. One is uh, the force of self-preservation. The instinct of self-preservation is constantly striving to build walls of protection around yourself and the longing to become boundless is constantly striving to push you beyond the boundaries in which you exist. It is these two which are finding variety of expression, either in the form of accumulation or in the form of every kind of desire that one can throw up, is essentially the play of these two forces. Once you make the mistake, of identifying yourself with something limited, the instinct of self-preservation wins, hands down. To a point, it almost makes it look like the other force doesn't even exist. So the essence of working towards success in one sadhana is all sadhana is essentially aimed towards expanding the limitations, breaking the boundaries of one's energy. When your energies are longing to become boundless, in your thought and emotion, if you're identified with limited things around you, then you will create an unnecessary tussle between the two forces. The secret of success is that these two beca should become one. Unless these two things become one, you do not have enough energy to break the limitations of the present dimension, to break the boundaries of present dimension, because now whatever you have is split it is trying to tug you in two different directions. It will become a journey of one step forward, one step backward, one step forward, one step backward. 
If you're doing one step forward, one step backward, it's very clear you are not intending to go anywhere. Maybe it's good exercise, but, but you're not intending to go anywhere. Once you're identified with the limitations of your own body, what you refer to as extended body, extensions of your body or family, house, it's not you should not have them. Having a body and being identified with is different. Similarly, having a family and being identified with it is very different. Once you're identified with it, naturally your whole system work towards building a wall around this identity, not allowing one to expand or to break the barriers of who he is right now. Shankara laments, Kate Kanta Danagat Chinta, which means once you're identified with your family relationships, you can only naturally think of money and property and this and that, you cannot think of anything else. Don't give yourself the thing, oh yes, I have become like this only because of my family. No, you have not become like this because of your family. Because you are like this, your family has become like that. Don't get it the other way around. It is the way you identify yourself with it that certain things are happening. Nothing outside of us is a barrier. It is the way we hold it, the way we carry the outside within ourselves is the barrier. If your energies are split, one trying to build walls, another trying to break walls, it is a tussle, it is a wasteful way of living. If you dedicate everything to building walls, at least you may build a great wall of India. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Chinese have the greatest wall, I think. Or if you put all your energies towards breaking boundaries, that will definitely happen. There are old barriers, walls which were built elsewhere, which may take a little bit of time to break. But the important thing is that you are not building new walls. Old walls can be made to crumble, but the problem is the new walls that are coming up every day. This is not something that you have to do consciously. Once you have a limited identity, everything in you builds walls, there is no other way. So sadhana is pushing you in one way, if your mind is pegged down to limited things, you are unnecessarily creating a tension in the system. So it's very important. It's like you tied up your boat and you are rowing it hard. Good exercise again, but you are not going anywhere. If you untie the rope, even if you do not row, slowly, with the pace of the river at least you will go. Spiritual journey need not be effortful, it just needs to be sensible. But to come to sense, <laughs> it may take effort sometimes, need not, but it may. As we come to the end of this enlightening discussion, Remember that your journey of spiritual growth is an ongoing process. Measuring your progress daily can help you stay on track and make the most out of this incredible life journey. The forces of self-preservation and the longing for boundlessness are within each of us and when they merge as one, true spiritual success is achieved. Take these teachings to heart and let them guide you on your path to spiritual growth. 
Remember that success is not an end point but a continuous exploration of your inner self. We hope you found value in Sadhguru's wisdom and that it contributes to your spiritual journey. Thank you for joining us and may you find peace and fulfillment in your pursuit of inner growth. Namaskaram.